How to set up shipping on Shopify step-by-step -step tutorial for beginners 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another e-commerce tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be discussing on how you can set up shipping on Shopify. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now to set up shipping on Shopify is like one of the easiest, most simplest things out there. So all you're going to need to do is obviously you're going to go to your Shopify, okay? Now, once you're in your Shopify, make sure to log yourself in properly. Now, uh, here's, you know, the whole log up process and everything. So I'm going to go and log in. Okay. Now, once we are here and log in, I'm going to log into my store. And once you are into your store, you're going to come here to your main Shopify dashboard. Okay. Now, once you're in your dashboard, obviously you're, you're trying to find, okay, where's the shipping? How do I ship? Please tell me how to ship. All you're gonna do is, you know, in this left-hand side over here, bottom, you're gonna see settings. You're gonna click on settings, okay? Now, once you click on settings, you're gonna come to this interface over here, okay? And once you come here, you're gonna come down and you're gonna see shipping and delivery. You're gonna click on that. And there you are. This is where you're gonna start messing around with your shipping. So, you can like take the setup guide through their shipping and everything if you want to but you can just follow my tutorial or you can explore it yourself to be honest like it's totally upon you but let's go ahead and discuss every aspect that comes with you know the shipping so when it comes to shipping you know first of all there's our setup shipping rates so you can set up free flat or calculated shipping rates that appear in the checkout for your customers so before you create any shipping rates make sure to get familiar with the shipping zones and shipping profiles Shipping zones are a group of countries or regions that you create for your shipping rates and shipping profiles let you set up shipping rates for specific products and locations. So on this page, you can see create flat shipping rates, create shipping rates in local currencies and much more. So in creating flat shipping rates, we can see that flat shipping rates charge a specific amount per shipping at checkout. You can create flat shipping rates for any order within a shipping zone or only for orders whose weight or price is within a certain range. For example, in a shipping zone for Europe, you could set a flat rate of $10 and another flat rate of $5 for orders that are over $50. When combining price-based shipping rates, Shopify combines rates that apply to the total price of the cart. When combining weight-based shipping rates, Shopify combines rates that apply to the weights of the individual product with your default package weight added to each product. For more information, you can refer to this combined shipping rates page over here. For example, suppose that you have a shipping rate called discounted shipping for five dollars in two different profiles this rate is available on orders over fifty dollars if an order contains a combination of products from both profiles and has a total of fifty five dollars then the checkout shows the discounted shipping rate at a cost of ten dollars instead suppose that you have a shipping rate called discounted shipping in two different profiles that gives cheaper shipping on orders over five kg to receive this rate, customers would need to order 5 kg of products from the first shipping profile and 5 kg of products from the second shipping profile to qualify for the discounted shipping rate. So the steps to do that from your Shopify admin, go to settings and then shipping delivery. Okay. Next to the shipping profile that you want to add shipping rate to, click manage. Next to the zone that you want to add a rate, uh, click add rate. Select a transit time or select a custom flat rate to name the rate. Add weight-based or price-based conditions. It is optional, depends on you, but I'd say you do add it, and then click on done and click save. Now, from here on out, your shipping rates are basically done. And you can also create shipping rates in local currencies for like, you know, your local transactions. You can create flat shipping rates in local currencies from buyers from different markets. An example could be offering a 10 US dollar flat rate uh, shipping for buyers in the United States, but offering 15 euros flat rate shipping for buyers in Europe. To offer flat shipping rates in local currencies, all countries within a shipping zone need to share the same currency, and local currencies need to be enabled for their market. For example, if you have a Europe market that contains France, Germany, and Sweden, then you should have one shipping zone that contains France and Germany, where the currency is euros, and another shipping zone that contains Sweden, where the currency is Swedish krona, you need to enable local currencies and markets before you can set shipping rates in local currencies. Again, it's the same way, uh, the same steps. Now, 
Create calculated shipping rates. You can calculate the shipping rates like if you're in the US and use Shopify shipping, then you can add calculated rates from your USPS, DHL, or UPS. If you're in Canada, you have the Canada Post. Obviously, respectively, you have all the FedEx and stuff like that. Like you have all those things to do, you know, the whatnots for you. Now, if you were to get into, you know, the technicalities, like the whole mechanic of it, here we are. Choose where you ship and how much you charge for shipping at checkout. General shipping rates are basically we haven't kept any. So we're going to go and manage. Now, once you go and manage over here, you're first going to choose the location for shop. So once you choose your shop location, what you're going to do, you're going to set a shipping zone. Now, the shipping zone could either be domestic, okay, or it could be international. So let's keep it domestic for now, okay? Let's add a rate. Set up your own rates or use a carrier app to calculate rates. I'm going to set up my own rate. Okay, the rate name, let's call it standard. And in the standard, let's, okay, let's give it, it a price. Let's give this uh, this price and done. You can also add conditions if you want to, totally upon you. But yeah, that's how you add shipping rates. Then here we go. You have international shipping rates. You can show all and see all the international countries you can ship to. Customers in international won't be able to check out because all countries and regions are in an inactive market. So you can activate these by just going to markets. But yeah, the shipping rates are like already going to be set for you. And once you've done all this, you're going to click on save. Now, once you click on save, we're just going to wait for it to, you know, process everything. And once everything is processed, there you go. It says profile updated. And here we are. So we just kept the general shipping rates. You can also keep custom shipping rates by creating new profiles. Okay. You can set the location for your local delivery and your local pickup. And you can also add shipping packages if you want to. So to add shipping packages, the package sizes you use to ship your products. That's basically what it is. So add a package to show accurate shipping rates at checkouts until you add a package. Shopify will use a sample box to calculate shipping rates at checkout. So for that, all you're going to do is you're going to go and click on add package. Okay. Now, once you click on add package here, obviously add your package name, add your package type. Let's say I'm going to add this name. Let's add a type. Okay. Now, once you've done that, add away and then just click on add package. Now, once you do that, they're going to add a package for you. And uh, basically this package is used to calculate shipping rates at checkout. So in like short, that is how you're going to set up your shipping and delivery when it comes to Shopify. So uh, I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guide for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, before signing off, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. So yeah, basically that was all for this video. If you enjoyed watching, please drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, until then, I hope you all keep having a great day. That was all from me and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.